Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and hopefully everybody's doing well. Well, yesterday was a uh, exciting day, you might call it. I want to post a link of my wife's video when we return home yesterday. Uh, you might find it interesting. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. <clears throat> so, if you don't mind, check it out. See what you think. Uh, <laughs> she did a good job uh, on her little video, and I like that. And so I thought I'd kind of share it with everyone. And if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to her channel too. But anyway, yesterday uh, we went out and we had a couple parcels to be uh, picked up. <clears throat> we meet the delivery guys out on the main highway because. They just don't want to come to our house. And I can understand why. They, they've got a lot of deliveries to make, and it's just difficult to get here. And we don't mind running out. At least we can get what we want without having to travel two or three hours <clears throat> to a larger city where uh, things are available. And that's one of the things you can do if you decide you're going to live out in the... Uh, in the jungle or away from the cities or as the local call it the province <clears throat> excuse me you can get things uh, ordered and things that uh, you commonly would use and I'm uh, on shopping uh, a lot of times I'll be honest with you uh, we find the pricing uh, much more competitive and if uh, if you're living here, uh, we uh, I've, I've got a GCash account on my phone, <clears throat> and I have found out that uh, by using that with my purchases, if I need a refund, it's so much quicker and much simpler. Uh, I don't have to make that second trip out to collect my money, or just let it sit there until I want to buy something else. So, I use the Gcash, and also I, my Gcash also helps out the locals here. Uh, when they need to load their phones, or in that category, uh, I can actually load their phone from my Gcash. Yeah, pretty neat, you know. Uh, and it's a big help to them, because, you know, they have, if they want to load, they have to drive out or hire a ride. And... Most of them barely can afford the load, uh, much less transportation back and forth to get the load. So, it's, it helps them out. And a lot of times, if it's a student, I do it to, to free. Because they're doing it, some of their classes are still online. Even though they've got face-to-face -face now, they still got projects to do. And I, I do my best to help out. So, that's uh, something I do here for the community. And make you aware of. And I enjoy that. You know, I do my best to uh, do the most I can that I can keep uh, our lifestyle normal and uh, also to keep a budget. So even though <laughs> this month uh, I've managed to uh, go on overboard, as y'all are well aware of, you know, talking about the solar. But that's money that's going to be returned over time. So, that's not a big concern of mine, but, you know, it does, uh, you know, when you got a single income, it uh, does limit your capabilities of doing a lot of things. But it's okay. Uh, I don't have any outstanding bills. Everything's paid for. Uh, I'm so lucky with that. 
Uh, we don't have a house payment. We don't have a vehicle payment. Nothing like that. Uh, well, I do have a payment. I forgot about that. We actually uh, ordered to have a credit reference. Uh, we do have, uh, where we bought a TV, uh, a small payment. I think it's right at about $20 a month, 1,000 pesos. Uh, we did that on purpose in order to keep some kind of established credit. Uh, it's not like we uh, really needed it or uh, pushed the issue. It was a uh, an option in case something came up we need to uh, find a way to borrow some extra funds. Uh, that's the main reason for it. But yesterday was a, uh, a good day. We uh, took the gracious mom and her sister uh, to San Carlos with us and they, they got to pick up a few items they wanted and we actually took them out to eat. Uh, uh, if you uh, happen to look at Grace's channel you can see that episode also. Uh, I will, like I said, post in the description uh, a, a link to her channel and it might find it interesting. You know, she, she moves around more than I do. I'll be honest with you, uh, as I've gotten older, my legs uh, just don't allow me to do a lot. Even though I, I exercise every morning and everything, but still when I'm on my legs a long time, uh, I have a tendency that my left ankle will swell. And I'm sure uh, that's got to do with you know, years that I've actually had that ankle broken twice. <laughs> That's a story, a story within itself. But uh, maybe one day I'll do a little video on some of my accidents, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but the, that's one of the issues I have right now. You know, uh, it's kind of, actually, it's, it's, a, it's not quite swollen this morning. Uh, of course, you know, I've been managed to stay off of it, and I've already done my exercise this morning. So it's actually got a little bit of to it. Uh, I try to stay active, uh, but I find it uh, more difficult as time goes. But don't worry, folks. I'll, I'll hang in there. Uh, well, I'm not. Uh, I'm not history yet. <laughs> but uh, I do get out uh, and, and, and move around. And it's like I said, even though it might be difficult. I keep, I keep my body moving. I got a cramp on my leg. <laughs> Must have overdone it this morning. <laughs> ah, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> a little muscle spasm. <laughs> so that tells me I, I might have went a few minutes too long this morning. But that's not going to stop me. I'm going to continue, you know, as I always do. But folks, uh, don't mind. Visit the wife's channel. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it entertaining. And uh, I will post a link in the bottom of the video. And everybody take care. If you don't mind, please subscribe, like, and share. Well, uh, my remote don't.